Oh, you have two minutes to answer the question, where specifically were you? When in 2011, because part of 2010 I wasn't on the board, and part of 2011 I was not. 2011. Part of, part of 2011 I was I was on the board. And during during that mess, where, where was I? I was on the board, and I actually sat as a minority on the board. Um, and most of us weren't, weren't aware of it, and when I was made aware of it, I actually um, voted against spending at all, and uh, spoke to our property manager, and did everything in my power as one board member out of nine to do something about this. Um, our treasurer at the time was Mark as well, so you might want to ask him that as well. He was the treasurer. I was a little disappointed that our treasurer did not, the person in charge of our finances was not the one to actually inform us that this mess was going on, um, especially being that our treasurer has publicly said he does not uh, believe in micromanaging. So that would leave us to believe that he's in charge of our finances um, and we should go by basically what he advises. And he at no point um, told, told any of us. Um, I found out by our property manager at the time and the moment, and this is all in video, the moment I found out, and uh, Michael Shankle, may he rest in peace, actually sat me down, told me what was going on, and I then, in turn, voted against anything, voted to stop all spending until we find out and get to the bottom of what was going on. Thank you. So, do you think the No, I'm sorry, sir. So are you limited to one question? You can feel free to raise your hand again, but for now, yes, sir. My name is Sidney Shulman. I live here a long time. Uh, this is for Wendy. Excuse me. Yes. Sir. You will say that the candidate refers to another candidate. Yeah. That candidate has an opportunity to respond. It's right in here. And, and, and I don't know if Mark wants to respond to whatever. Uh, Clark? Clark says. Do you care to respond? Uh, sure. The reason for not responding was that it took six months to figure out what was going on. It wasn't easy. We had to pull out all the records from 2009, 2010, 2011, and go on from there. There was a tremendous amount of back office work handled by one lady in the back office, which brings us up to the present. Where are we today? And today, we are at the point that everything has been paid, all the maintenance fees increased is done and over with. You do not have to worry about that, but you now have to worry about what is coming up in the future. And what is coming up in the future is that we are now on a pay-as-you-go basis. And the most important single feature available today is that in two or three months, I mentioned at my closing before, three banks bailed out on us. We are left with one bank considering extending our loan, and we are also in dealing with Wells Fargo. Because of the work I did primarily, Wells Fargo has granted us a three-month extension. The loan is coming due on February 27th. We've been granted three months extension, which makes us equal with the only other bank that is considering us and waiting for our audited financial statement, which will not come due until three months from now. So we have two banks available, and we're working hard to see how we can leverage one against the other. If we don't get either one, you will immediately become due, paying two million $100,000. I want you to understand that I'm the one who knows best as to what's going on with Wells Fargo. I urge you to put your trust in me. Yes, sir. My name is Sidney Shulman. Uh, Wendy. A while ago, you stood up at a board meeting and recommended that we get rid of the housekeepers and have the unit owner volunteer to clean our buildings. Is that what you really want?
have never said that I want to get rid of maintenance people and that the owner owners should do the work. I said they can do a bit of work. We can use it more efficiently so we don't have to hire outsiders. They should, we can keep the place clean if they pay more attention. I have encountered in my building the garbage be all the way to the top on a Friday afternoon. Why? If the maintenance are checking, so why is that happening? I see garbage in the laundry room. I see the carpets with stain. I see the place being dirty. There's dust. Why, where is the maintenance people? Now, I never suggest that the people do their work. I say we can work as a community and see what is going on and speak up about it. Say, hey, go to the office. My building, this is happening in my building. Where is maintenance? That was my concern. I never said that the people should take the responsibility of the, of the staff. Get out of my life. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes, sir. Ma'am, no, I can't see. Yes, sorry. Good evening. My name is Lisa Cochran. Glad to see you. Such a great attendance tonight. My question is for Mark Richmond, um, who has been treasurer for the last three years. You have said tonight that you know what's best when it comes to the money. And you've also, several times in board meetings, been verbally explosive when someone suggested that you be the watchdog for the money spending. And I'm a little confused by that. I just want to ask why the treasurer would not want to be paying attention to the money being spent. Thank you. Thank you. Mark? Well, I think that's I don't know quite how to answer that. I watch all the money being expended. That's all I can tell you. Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. In the back, in the pink. <laughs> this question is for Mr. Marvin. If you saw a fellow board member doing or saying something, Dishonest, what would you do? Could you say that again? If you saw a fellow board what member happened? doing or saying something dishonest, what would you do? That is your question, ma'am? Yes, and what is your reply? Uh, if I see a board member saying, doing, writing something dishonest, I will speak to that board member or reply to that board member and ask for an explanation, give them my opinion of what I think is dishonest, and start a dialogue to see if whatever they're doing, uh, is, is it by misinformation, is it, uh, is it deliberate, is it by ignorance, just, just start a dialogue to find out what's going on, get to the truth. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. What do you believe comprises an ethical organization? Here in IB, you're supposed to be transparent, accountable, confidential, and, and stable. How do you define transparent, accountable, confidential, and stable? Speak, speak into the microphone. Speak into the microphone. What do you believe comprises an ethical organization? Here in IB, you're supposed to be transparent, accountable, confidential, and stable. How do you define transparent, accountable, confidential, and stable? Probably the same way you would. Ma'am? That, that's not a... Ask me a question. I just did. She's asking for you to give... Transparent means you are transparent. Accountable means you are accountable. <laughs> that's not an answer that I was looking for. Well, I'm not sure what you mean then. Sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes, sir. Please stand. Um, my name is Richard Young, and uh, I own a unit in Grenoble. This question is for Sandy. Uh, since we've had almost 27% increase in maintenance fees the last two years, I wonder if you were elected to the board, if you have any ideas or any projects that we might implement to reduce costs. 
if, if there are any, say, say the last part again. If there are any uh, No, if you personally have yeah. any ideas yeah. or any projects in mind as a board member that we could implement to reduce cost here so we don't have another uh, big increase next year. The only thing I can think of is we have priorities. We have things that have to be done. I pay one of the highest maintenances here and one of the highest assessments. I'm not looking to uh, increase anything because I pay it too. But as far as uh, having things fixed like balconies that are falling down, roofs that need repair, I only want to see done what needs to be done. If there are carpets that need to be replaced, if there are windows that have to be replaced, we have to do those things. So I can't tell numbers with whether uh, it's 30% or 15%. So I really, I can't tell you. Uh, we just have to do what has to be done as a property owner. I hope that answers your question. Thank you. Any questions? Yes, sir. Mike, Mike, Mike. It's coming, coming. My question is for Mark. The question is a simple one. Why should we vote for a man who is making money with our ex-president, Charles Fitzpatrick, while he was a treasurer? Okay, 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 okay. Please keep it down. Sir, would you put kindly repeat your question? The question is, why should we, as unit owners, vote for a man who was making money while he was involved with Charles Fitzpatrick and public records as he, while he was being the treasurer of our company? Why should we entrust our money with this individual? Thank you very much for that question. I'm going to answer this once. According to Florida statute and according to our condominium documents, any person in this village can do anything he wants in terms of a real estate transaction. There is absolutely no statute or condo law that says you have to be something or not be something. Given i.e. anybody on the board, off the board, or what have you, can legally do anything that's appropriate as a real estate investment. And to say otherwise is foolishness. Given that, this was a private real estate transaction. It was above board, it was straightforward, and a lot of things have been said about it which are complete misstatements. The amount of money made or not made is of absolutely no consequence to you and is irrelevant to the discussion at hand. I hope you understand that. Yes, sir. The gentleman in the back. Sir, you may raise your hand and, and, and have another opportunity. Yes, sir. Gentleman in the back. Yes. Uh, as a follow-up to that question, I'm a little confused uh, because uh, I was on the board as uh, Mr. Richmond was, and when I did something, uh, I lent money to a owner who was being foreclosed uh, by the board. Uh, I was called into the office by the treasurer and the president and told them, and I was told in no uncertain terms that since I was a board member, I could not lend money to this owner who was being foreclosed. So because assuming I'm making a profit, which I was, I was making 6% on my loan. So I want to know how that is different than what the, uh, Mr. Richmond uh, explained. Thank you. When I made the loan, I was not a board member. Thank you. <laughs> you were treasurer, though. The fact
fact that I was treasurer is irrelevant to the discussion because anybody can do a transaction. There is no statute or condominium dock that prevents one from doing it. You are the profit while you're on the Excuse board. me, sir. That is not the proper protocol. Whether or not I earned a profit is completely irrelevant to the discussion. Are you against profit? Okay. Okay. Please. Do not shout, shout do not shout out, please. We need to keep order in this room. Yes, sir, go ahead. When I ask the question, at no point in the question am I accusing you of doing anything that was illegal. But there's an impropriety there, as the treasurer, you're not supposed to be involved with making profit. If you choose to make a profit and be a wise guy, there is nothing you did that is illegal. Sir, what is your question? I would like him to answer my question, which is why should we vote for a man who was made who made okay. which Austin fact he just answered that it isn't illegal. I, I never accused him of anything that was illegal. Okay. Thank you, sir. Mark, do you have an answer? Well, no. The question is, why should they vote for you? Why should they vote for That's me? Because question. that question is irrelevant, and I'm the one that can get you out of this mess, the best one suited for that. You need someone now who is going to get you through the refinancing of the Wilma loan. That is the single important issue at this point in time. Thank you. And you had better realize that. But if they, if they decide to follow the loan, you will now be responsible for a $2,100,050 assessment. Immediately. Thank you. So our job, I'm answering the question. Our, I still have a minute, don't I? Our job, therefore, is to get this loan refinanced, if we can, so that we can go about the business in an appropriate manner of addressing the many things that need to be done in the village to make it a better place to live, including the carpets in Dove Wolf's apartment. Yes, sir. How many of you remember? Excuse me. You need to address a question okay. to one of the candidates. Uh, Um, Marzio, two things that you would like to see accomplished on this new board. There are two top things you would like to see accomplished. Well, I'm going to answer your question, and I believe you answered her question as well. Transparency. Um, like I mentioned on my opening statement, a virtual portal that will allow each individual unit owner to voice their own opinion so that I can truly represent the majority, not just my own opinion, but the opinion of all of you together. Each vote that I make will be a voice of the majority of the unit owners. And second of all, I'm a chief engineer with the US Coast Guard. And I was looking at the financials. I'm highly educated, accounting as well. Um, and I see that the biggest single expense in IV is the water bill. And I know that it's been tried before, but I have accomplished many things that lots of others have tried, and I have succeeded. So I will do the best of my ability to solve the water issue, which would save $600,000 every single year. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. My question is to Wendy. Wendy, with your accounting background, I'm an accountant. So with your accounting background, do you think that you can work with um, Martin? Is that your name? Mark. Mark. You can work with him to resolve our accounting problem. Thank you for your question. Yes, I'm highly qualified in the matter. 
my background is in numbers. And like I said in my statement, in my opening statement, I have worked in the budgeting and purchasing departments. So yes, I know how to deal with contracts. I know how to purchase. I know how to negotiate. I, I look for numbers. And I cut the spending without sacrificing quality. Now, working with Mark is a different story. Maybe we can work differently because our temples are both strong. I am, being a woman, I don't step down for anybody, especially when they try to intimidate me with a provocative attitude. I'm very strong. I'm very hard-headed, if you want to call it a way. But I'm determined to be, do the best work possible and call in the expenses and do the best for International Village. We can do a great job without having to increase the maintenance. If we put our heads together, definitely we can do a great job here. We can improve the quality of life of International Village. And let's see what Mark has to say about it. Thank you. Oh, I think he said no already, so. You have two minutes. I got another chance, one minute. Well, we're getting there, and I'm getting, as we go along, I'm getting to my points. Where are we today now? Let's assume that the loan is not the question. question. What? If you would be willing to work with Wendy, the direct question. I'd be willing to work with Wendy any day of the week. There's no question. Yes, sir. Uh, my question is for Mark and Tao. I have the phone records here from your uh, cell phone, Association Pay cell phone records that show that on March, excuse me, that show that on March 12th of 20, excuse me, on March 12th of 2013, you spent 47 minutes on the phone with uh, Mr. Elon Weiss, who was at the time in litigation with the village. He had sued the village and eventually uh, got a $56,000 settlement from the association, but your conversation with him on the phone was prior to that. So my question to you is, how do you think it's appropriate to have this conversation on the phone with a litigant who is suing the village? What were you discussing with him? Was there any quid pro quo discuss about what you would get in return for voting and securing that $56,000 settlement? In addition to that, I want to know why you, uh, why you agreed to vote for that Time's up. when you had gotten uh, personal benefit from it. 